right guys, how you doing? It's Rabir, I hope you're all well today. So this is an extremely exciting video for me because I finally get to announce in all its glory my brand new signature Dunlop Flow Pick. <laughs> So this is something I've been working on with Dunlop for the last year, since uh, NAM 2019. We got chatting about the idea of doing a signature pick and I was really excited um, because I got turned onto the flow picks by my friend Max uh, whilst I was out doing some shows with Frog Leap and I found that um, I was just able to play the stuff easier. It was almost like, how have I not discovered this before? I, was, I mean, I was using some really great picks before and they were doing the job, um, but to be fair with the Frog Leap stuff, with it all being chugging and metal and that kind of stuff, I was wearing them out quite fast. And then when Max handed me one of these flow picks, it was the John Petrucci one, I was blown away with how easy I could just get through the gig, chugging away, doing all the lead and stuff, and it was just fine, you know, it was untouched. Um, I think the only thing for me was that it was quite thick, the John Petrucci one, I think it's two mil. So it was quite thick and I found that I wasn't a bigger fan of the thickness as I was the way it felt. So I told that to the guys at Dunlop and uh, we got chatting about doing a, a, sm a thinner flow pick. So they sent me loads of different types of pick to try out, loads of different styles. And I was just really hooked on the, the flow style because um, they say that the architecture of the pick is different. Notice how the pick edges are kind of slanted more. They're not as straight as your uh, sort of average pick. And I think that has something to do with the way it feels so smooth over the strings, like it flows over the strings really well. So yeah, we got chatting and I was like, can you do a thinner flow pick with the Ultex style material? Because that's something that I really liked before in the Jazz 3XLs. And they sent through a couple of prototypes. We had a 1.5 mil uh, flow pick design and then the one mil flow pick design. And one mil is actually thicker than, thinner than I've ever used uh, since I've been playing, you know, in my adult life. And I, I was slightly skeptical that it'd be a bit too thin, but actually something about the Ultex material and that thickness was like, I'm getting the rigidity I need to play fast articulate stuff, but it's also just flexible enough that when you want to do strumming stuff or any kind of rhythm percussive things, it's it just kind of works because obviously if you're playing acoustic or rhythm stuff, a thinner pick's almost nicer for you know that style strumming and stuff. It's not quite as aggressive. I think I've, I've landed on just what I felt was like the perfect pick for me at this point you know not super rigid a little bit of flex in it but but not really that much and just the shape of the flow pick allowed me to do all the fast articulate stuff that I wanted to do <laughs> sent through my sort of graphic and my logo and all that stuff and then they sent through some prototypes and I'm happy to say that we landed on like a like a smoke see-through finish as you can see it's slightly see-through like I don't know if you can make that out but it's kind of got a bit of a smoky finish to it which is cool they feel great they look great and so the most exciting part about this is that they're available uh, for anyone to try if they want to um, and they come in players packs that look like this so this is a player's pack of six. This is what you'll be able to get if you buy them from a shop, wherever they stock Dunlop picks. But you get six in a pack and they, they're just awesome. And I'm really happy. And there's a little bit of little bit of blurb on the back of the pack of, of what I think about them and how I landed on them. <laughs>
The funniest part for me, or like one of the nice things to think about, is that you know, like when you start playing guitar, nine times out of ten you're going to have one of those Tortex Dunlop picks with a little turtle on. Like everyone has one of those when they start out. I think the first one I had was a yellow one, and then I moved to the green. I think it got a bit thicker, and then it was the blue, then the purple, and then I stayed on the purple for ages. And you know, it's just funny because then guitar some of you will probably relate to this but then you go on this kind of journey to find like the perfect pick and it kind of started and then went to like the jazz 3xl and then i branched out and went to use different brands of picks and just see if i could find something that worked for me and then somehow coming full circle back to the same brand of pick that you started out with in a way so that's not that's a nice thing and to be honest i couldn't be happier i've been using them for like I say, the last year now, and there's no turning back, to be honest. They've, they have changed the way I play, like certainly in terms of the way I can articulate the notes I'm trying to play, whether it be softer stuff or heavier stuff, um, all the chugging, and it just it just stays out of your way and it allows you to do what, what you need to do. So anyway, that's the video. It's just me announcing that I've finally got my signature Rubia Massad uh, Dunlop Flow Picks and I, I'm, I'm super happy. So if you want to get hold of them, I'll put links in the description box below, but they are going to be available in most retailers. Anyway, I'll put links in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching this video and a huge thank you to Dunlop for, for working with me and taking me into the family and making a pick and just being part of it. It's, it's very cool to, to now be able to be a part of the legacy of Dunlop. So um, I'm, I'm just hugely grateful. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you all very soon.